We just talked about the event horizon of a black hole. What's on the inside? What's at the center of it? No one's been there. <laughs> so <laughs> came back to again, tell. this is a theoretical prediction. But you know, I'll, I'll say one super crucial feature of the black holes that we know and love, that you know, the kind that Schwarzschild first invented. There's a singularity, but it's not at the middle of the black hole. Remember, space and time are parts of two different two, uh, parts of one unified space time. The location of the singularity in the black hole is not the middle of space, but our future. It is a moment of time. It is like a big crunch. You know, the Big Bang was an expansion from a singularity in the past. Big crunch probably doesn't exist, but if it did, it would be a collapse to a singularity in the future. That's what the interiors of black holes are like. You can be fine in the interior, but things are becoming more and more crowded. Space time is becoming more and more warped, and eventually you hit a limit, and that's the singularity in your future. I wonder what time is like on the inside of a black hole. Time always ticks by at one second per second. That's all it can ever do. Yeah. Time can tick by differently for different people. And so you have things like the twin paradox, where two people initially are the same age. One goes off near the speed of light and comes back. Now they're not. You can even work out that the one who goes out and comes back will be younger because they did not take the shortest distance path. But locally, as far as you and your wristwatch are concerned, time is not funny. Time, the, your your neuro neurological signals in your brain and your heartbeat and your wristwatch, whatever's happening to them, is happening to all of them at the same time. So time always seems to be ticking along at the same rate. Well, if you fall into a black hole and then I'm an observer just watching it, and then you come out once it evaporates a million years later, I guess you'd be exactly the same age. Have you aged at all? You would be converted into photons. <coughs> you would not be you anymore. Right. So it's, it's not at all possible that information is preserved exactly as it went in. It depends on what you mean by preserved. Um, it's there in the microscopic configuration of the universe. It's exactly as if I took a regular book, made a paper, and I burned it. The laws of physics say that all the information in the book is still there in the heat and light and ashes. Yeah. You're never going to get it. Yeah. It's a matter of practice, but in principle, it's still there. But what about the age of things from the observer perspective, from outside the black hole? From outside the black hole, it doesn't matter because <laughs> they're inside the black hole. No, so, but isn't there, a, okay, there's no way to escape the black hole right. except to let it evaporate. To let it evaporate. But also, you know, by the way, in just in relativity, special relativity, forget about general relativity, it's enormously tempting to say, okay, here's what's happening to me right now. I want to know what's happening far away right now. The whole point of relativity is to say there's no such thing as right now when you're far away. And that is doubly true for what's inside a black hole. So you're tempted to say, well, how fast is their clock ticking? Or how old are they now? Not allowed to say that according to relativity. Because space and time are treated the same, and so it doesn't even make sense. 